level. A clue! Ah, oh, this is wonderful! I must tell the others. But I can't hold it much longer, so let's keep going. I'm going to tell Daphne and Hoopo I have my clue! Must be time for lunch. See the toys? I made them myself. See the toys? I made them myself. See the toys? I made them myself. A spectacular job! I knew you could do it! Let's tell the others! I'll show you how to throw a pot. Beak-watering, feather-licking, good! If that Carlos moved one thing out of place to put his precious clue in my room, I'll... I'll never buy him a birthday present again. Okay, let's try the box. 
If I were Carlos, where would I hide a clue? Hmm. Of course, I'm not Carlos, so it's going to be more difficult for me to find it. Oh, Carlos, you're such a dear for sending that box. Now, if I can only get it open. No, no clues, clues here. here. You're making too much noise. I'm trying to find clues. Oh, the feathers on some birds. <laughs> Choose a level. Come back here! Don't eat those numbers! Gotcha! Hurry! I can't hold him much longer! To find a clue in my beautiful room, it's going to be so difficult. There are so many places that rogue Carlos could have hidden it. No clues here. Keep looking till you find a clue. Hey! Anyone heard of wiping their webs? One clue down, two to go! I can taste that party bean dip already! Bean dip? Please. Two clues, you'd think that'd be enough for Carlos. Never, darling. He's a three clues kind of guy. Before you make barbecue sauce, you'll have to decide on the flavor. Whether you make sunflower, tomato, or peanut, you'll have to grow several crops. So get started. Thanks for helping out. Now he's eating everything in order, like he's supposed to. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. Now he's eating everything in order, like he's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for helping out. Now he's eating everything in order, like he's supposed to. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. Now he's eating everything in order, like he's supposed to. <laughs> Try again, for they are hard, these clues. <laughs> ah, the fragrant aroma of sweaty clothes. Hmm, no clues here. <laughs> Back here! Don't eat those numbers! Gotcha! Hurry! I can't hold him much longer! Why did the elf cross the road? Uh, I don't know! Why? Cause it was the chicken's day off! <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, 
Waddle always where did you hide the clue? Hey, I've been looking for this. My dog had fleas, so I took him to the vet. What happened? He told me to feed him garlic. Now his bark is worse than his bite. <laughs> <laughs> To identify the location of a point on the grid, find the number below the point, 3, and the number to the left of the point, 4. The coordinates, 3, 4, identify the location of the point on the grid. Let me in. You're getting closer. Some of your clues are the medium clues. But I'm sorry to say, they're still not the hardest ones. Give it another try. Oh, that Carlos. <laughs> This is a number line showing 0 through 3. This is 1. This is 2. Let's look at all the tenths between 1 and 2. These are all the tenths between 1 and 2. This is 1 and 2 tenths. This is 1 and 3 tenths. Let's look at all the hundredths between 1 and 2 tenths and 1 and 3 tenths. These are all the hundredths between 1 and 2 tenths and one and three tenths. Ta-da! These are three rectangles showing the same area. The top one is divided into eight equal parts. The middle one is divided into four equal parts. And the bottom one is divided into two equal parts. One-eighth, two-eighths, or one-fourth, three-eighths, four-eighths, two-fourths, or one half. Five eighths, six eighths, or three fourths. Seven eighths, eight eighths, four fourths, or two halves. These fractions all represent one whole. Hey, it's Carlos. A divertice se let the party begin! The first block shows two parts out of eight. That's a lesser number, so let's put it on the far left. To move it there, click the left arrow until the block is where you want it. Now click the down arrow and the block will drop into place. The next block shows six parts out of eight. Hmm, that's close to a hole, so let's put it on the far right. Click the right arrow and then the down arrow. Now we have one part out of eight. That's also a lesser number, so it should go on the far left. We can put it on top of the first block. And if we don't want to place a number, just click the trash to recycle it. Let's go back to the menu. Then you try. This will show you how to build a wall with whole numbers. If you selected another type of number, the game will look slightly different. The first block has a 7 on it. That's pretty small, so let's put it on the far left. To move it there, click the left arrow until the block is where you want it. Now click the down arrow and the block will drop into place. The next block has a 94 on it. Now that's close to 100, so let's put it on the far right. Click the right arrow, 
and then the down arrow. Now we have a three. That's a lesser number, so it should go on the far left. On top of the seven. And if we don't want to place a number, just click the trash to recycle it. Let's go back to the menu, then you try. This rectangle is divided into eight equal parts. One of the parts is red. One eighth. There are eight equal parts. Two parts are red. Two eighths. There are eight equal parts. Three parts are red. Three eighths. There are eight equal parts. Four parts are red. Four eighths. There are eight equal parts. Five parts are red. Five eighths. There are eight equal parts. Six parts are red. Six eighths. There are eight equal parts. Seven parts are red. Seven eighths. There are eight equal parts. Eight parts are red. Eight eighths. There are eight equal parts. Zero parts are red. Zero eighths. I'll show you how to write the greatest number possible. Six is greater than half the digits on the spinner. I want to save the hundreds place for a greater number. If we put the six in the tens place, it is worth 60. Eight is one of the greater numbers on the spinner. It is worth 800 if we put it in the hundreds place. Two, the strategy worked perfectly. We can put this two in the ones place. 862. That's the greatest number we can write with these three digits. If you want to add two numbers and get the greatest sum, you can use the same strategy. Place the greater numbers to take advantage of greater place values. 800 23 plus 970. The sum is 1,793. It's not the greatest sum we could get with these digits, but the strategy worked pretty well. I will try to place the digits so I can get the greatest difference. That means I need to get the greatest possible number on the top and the least possible number on the bottom. On my first three spins, I got a 9, a 6, and a 3. 9 and 6 are greater than most numbers on the spinner, so I put them in the top number. 3 is less than most numbers on the spinner, so I put it in the bottom number. Let's see what comes next. A 7. This should go in the top number. Let's put it in the hundreds place for 700. Eight is another number that's greater than most numbers on the spinner. Two is less than most numbers on the spinner. It can go in the hundreds place of the bottom number. Another seven. I'd hoped for a lesser number, but at least it can go in the ones place. We have 9,768 minus 237. The difference between these two numbers is 9,531. That's pretty good. Can you hold it down, PK? I'm in the middle of something very important. Of course, Hoopo. <laughs> PK, how do you expect me to plan Carlos's party with all this noise? I can't think. Hoopo, you're getting your big 
got a joint for no reason. No, I'm not. Relax. We can get ready for any party in ten minutes. I don't consider a party breaking out bean dip and serving punch from the bird bath. Hey, guys. What do you think of my new hat? Slick, huh? How's the party coming? Oh, not quite getting it together yet. Well, don't worry. I have some wonderful ideas. I'm going to create a fabulous ice sculpture for the punch. Hoopo, I'm going to need a 10-ton block of ice. <laughs> Daphne, it's going to be sensational. I'll get it. Falcon Express, here you go. <laughs> I wonder if it's from Carlos. Hello. It is Carlos. It is. If you want a party, open this box. Not so fast, my feathered friends. First, you have to figure out the combination to the lock. Sure. Can't make it easy, can you, Carlos? Why would I want to do that? Come on, Hoopo, have a little fun. Yeah, fun. How are we supposed to get this box open? There are clues in each of your rooms. Good luck finding them, my friends. <laughs> that, Carlos? Instead of getting a party, we're getting a mystery. Come on, everybody, let's all hurry. I'm flying off to my room and looking for clues. Oh, that Carlos, what a bird. I'm going to my room to see what clue Carlos hit there. <laughs> Smile, Hoopo. This'll be fun. Come on! Why can't he send a box like a normal bird? He always has to complicate everything. Mystery? Who needs a mystery? No clues here. Oh no, the caterpillars are back. <laughs> that was fantastic! Keep on going! Now, uh, hurry up and build the next wall. <laughs> 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 
We're getting there. Now, build the next wall. You're doing great! Let's move on to the next wall. Excellent! You're gonna finish this in no time! Thank you! And welcome to PK's Planet! The game show that really sends you on an adventure! I'm ready, I'm ready! Today's grand prize is a whale-watching adventure! Ah! Big A! <laughs> I get seasick just thinking about the ocean! And you on the cover of PK's Planet Magazine! I'd rather go to Paris. All you have to do is play and win all the games behind the curtains. All right, let's get started. Now, do you know how this thing works? Of course I do. Remember, whatever you do, don't press that button. Oh, no! Now, suppose I want to turn right. That's easy. You just lean. But whatever you do, don't press this button. Go, PK! Oh, oh. So, if it gets too foggy out there, all you have to do is... Don't press that! Grand Prix, Carlos. Today, PK's planet gets behind the wheel Arrum, rum, for a racing adventure that puts you on the cover of PK's planet. And in the winner's circle. Just play and win. 
win all the games behind the curtain. Driver, start your engine! How am I supposed to find my way with this? It doesn't work. Let me get you a map! I wonder if this is going to help. Here's your racing seat. Bigfoot tires. And engine. These should make the race a breeze. This will give you something to listen to while you're racing. to win the big race! Gunyah e maravilloso! Mas cogida de cajo e tudo! Winning is wonderful, but racing is everything! Say, milk! <laughs> nice piece of driving! Let's get you a prize from the racing pit! There's the checkered flag! That means you've won all nine games! And a shot at the big race! for a chance at the car you want. He wants a fast car. Good luck, blue driver. And the blue driver gets the white car. Diamond Greyway! Check this. I've been testing these spinners to see how many of each of the letters I get. For this spinner, because there are two X's, one Z, and one H, it's twice as likely that the spinner will stop on an X than on an H or on a Z. Take a look at my tally from past spins. For this spinner, it's equally likely that the spinner will stop on a Y as it will on a Z. Yes! The probability of the spinner stopping on Y or Z is 50%. This spinner has three equal sections, and each section has a Z. The spinner will always land on a Z. That's a 100% chance of the spinner landing on a Z. My last spinner has four sections. Notice that two sections have a Y and two sections have an H. So, it is equally likely for the spinner to land on Y or H. Oh yes, that's a 50% chance of spinning Y or H. Probability is fun, but remember, even though the X is less likely than the H on this spinner, it's still possible for the spinner to land on the X. Welcome to PK's Planet, where we will take you to one of the world's seven wonders. Ooh, I like that. And of course, you end up on the cover of my magazine! Sounds like fun! Daphne, all you have to do is play and win all the games behind the curtains! Ooh, let's get started! 
This fan will keep you cool, calm, and collected. PK, why do I need music? It's not for you! PK, I can't go into the desert without water. You'll never have to worry about water again! With this portable oasis! Gonna be a dynamite cover! Queen of the Emus at the Pyramids of Giza! What's that? A little desert breeze. A Serato! PK, no! Go move! Wait, where'd you go? Oh! That's gonna make a much better cover! You're closer to winning a trip to one of the Seven Wonders! Let's get you outfitted with some gear! That's it! You finished all the games! Let's start your exciting adventure! But first, let's see what you've won!